Oh, hi everybody. Happy Juneteenth, Freedom Day. Um, yay to all that celebrate. Now it is a Wednesday, which should be a two show day for me. And it is not a two show day for me. We're only doing a show tonight um, because of Juneteenth. Now I would love to tell you that it's because it's a holiday. So they're giving people the daytime off, but that's, I don't think that's why. I think it's because for most of us in the unions, I don't know about all the unions in the building, but I'm, I'm fairly certain all of them. Um, this is a holiday, so there's holiday pay involved, meaning more pay. So doing a two show day with more pay is something a producer does not like to do. Uh, so we're doing a single show today. We're gonna make up for it by doing a double show tomorrow. Happy Juneteenth. Now, I am certainly not going to speak for the ancestors as a little white man, but I am going to say that it is my opinion that this is not what the ancestors would have intended. Anyway, I'm taking my white ass to work tonight. So there it is. Happy Juneteenth. Uh, it's a heavy week. Um, yesterday, Tuesday, I was in in the afternoon because we're putting a new uh, understudy for uh, Doc Brown into the show uh, just to, to stand by and be his understudy. So there's uh, some video in the show and some voiceovers that have to be pre-recorded and pre-filmed and pre-photographed that we did yesterday. So I was there to put him in costume and help him out with that, which is great. And uh, another uh, supporting character who has, a, there's a photograph that's used that this, if this person goes on, their photo must be used. So I helped with that, which was good to, to be able to, uh, to do that because I took the night off last night to go see Titanic uh, at City Center. Uh, they do those uh, staged stage readings. Anymore, they're like a full Broadway show in 10 days, trust me. This was beautifully done, uh, simply done. A lot of, you're, you're supposed to be able to have script in hand in these, and most for the most part, they don't. This was actually staged specifically with moments where everyone is carrying a script. It was, I thought it was very effectively done and gorgeously sung. And I had a lot of friends in it, including my dear Brandon Uranowitz, who I messaged him before the show to say, I'm coming to your show tonight. And he said, well, I hate to break it to you, but dot, 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 meaning the ship sinks. Um, and after the show, I said, you were great. He said, like, I screwed it all up. I, I sunk the ship. So that was, that was fun. So it was nice to do that last night because uh, today, show tonight, two shows tomorrow. Now, Friday is a put-in rehearsal for this new Doc Brown uh, before we do a show tomorrow night, on Friday night. So that's basically a two-show day. I will have one of my two characters doing my complete track with the clothes and the changes and the everything. Meanwhile, Casey, who plays Marty, will also be in for this rehearsal because we're putting in a Doc Brown understudy and a George McFly. So because they're the two characters he works off of most, they've called him in as well. He will not be in costume, but I will run around with his water bottle and do all of our offstage traffic for him because he's doing a full performance also. So let's review. One show tonight, two shows Thursday. In, this, in essence, two shows Friday, two shows Saturday, Sunday matinee which my sister, noted lesbian Therese Hipkins, is coming to, so I gotta keep it together, because we're gonna go out, uh, she, me and my gals are gonna go out afterwards. So, it's a big week. In other news, I know this heat wave that's sweeping the nation. I came out after the gym just now, and I was like, oh, it's not so bad. Ugh. Ugh. I'm sitting on a bench. The reason I'm sitting sideways like this, which is awkward and inconvenient for me to do, if I sit like this and the sun is bouncing off the sidewalk, I look like a busted light bulb. It's not pretty at all. I, and I have to be mindful too, I'm noticing. I can't put the camera down here like I always do because I just like, Billy, what's up with your nose hairs? So I'm learning things. Anyways, that's my message for Juneteenth. Um, happy Freedom Day to everyone that is celebrating. Uh, yay. I, I do my best to be an ally and honor and honor your struggle. And I'm, I'm here for it. I actually made brownies and sent them down the hall to my dear neighbor for Juneteenth today. So dare. I'm, I'm doing my best to be part of the solution. I got nothing else. What am I, who am I talking to? Okay, bye now.